The history of American whiskey is as rich and robust as what we find in a glass of bourbon. At Brown Foreman, we pride ourselves on honoring that heritage by handcrafting a collection of unique, super premium American whiskeys. Hi, my name is Campbell Brown, a fifth generation uh, family member. So that means that George Garvin Brown, who founded Old Forster and Brown Foreman, was my great-great-grandfather. The word premium gets used quite a bit uh, in the American whiskey category, really in any spirit, beer, wine, consumer goods product. Um, but George Garvin Brown set us on this path the minute he decided that he was going to put Old Forster in a bottle and sell it exclusively by the bottle at a time when many, most people were not doing that. And he further kind of held us accountable for generations to come by putting on his label, nothing better in the market. And so when those words are sitting there in front of you on a label that he wrote on, and your family's still involved in the business, and you've got thousands of employees that understand what that means, we all become responsible for the quality of the products that we sell, that we make and manufacture, and that we share with consumers and our partners around the world. But what are we talking about when we talk about whiskey? Whiskey, at its core, is a distilled spirit made from a grain base. Whiskey can be made in a variety of ways, from a variety of grains, in a variety of stills, and derive flavor from a variety of aging techniques. But a whiskey's ultimate flavor boils down to a few key factors. What a consumer enjoys when they crack open their favorite bottle is equal parts nature, science, and art. Hi, I'm Tim Holtz, Brown Foreman's historian and corporate storyteller, and part of my role is to help manage the Brown Foreman corporate archives. But it really started in 1870 with that commitment that our founder, George Garvin Brown, made to his consumers on the label of Old Forester, the same guarantee that's on that label today. And people, when they hear the Old Forester uh, uh, guarantee, they often think of the very last line, nothing better in the market. But if you really want to understand Brown Foreman's commitment to quality whiskey, it's the first part that you really need to pay attention to. And that is, this whiskey is distilled by us only, and we are responsible for its richness and fine quality. Today, we often use the term super premium to apply to whiskeys, but super premium is a term that Brown Foreman has used in many different ways throughout our 150 years. At Brown Foreman, consistency and quality in our whiskeys is not by happenstance. From fermentation to distillation to maturation to owning our own cooperage, we expect to know why we created great whiskey. So anytime during our production processes, if we create a barrel that's particularly unique or particularly not up to our standards, the first question we're going to ask ourselves is why did that happen? And for 150 years, we have been studying how we make whiskey. And that's why today we are the leader in American whiskeys, because we know more about whiskey from how it's made to how it's aged and how each step in that process affects what goes into the bottle and eventually into your glass. Speaking of the bottle from which the whiskey comes, it was indeed Brown Foreman who was the first to bottle and seal the bourbon it produced way back in 1870. And it all started on Whiskey Row in downtown Louisville, Kentucky with the founding of Old Forester Distilling Company. Hi, I'm Jackie Zykin, Master Taster for Old Forester. So not only am I there with the brand team to decide how we're going to deliver our products to market, but also play a key part as to what those products are going to be. I'm part of our sensory team and I'm part of our quality assurance to make sure that every bottle of Old Forester is living up to the legend George Garvin Brown said a long time ago of quality and consistency. Old Forester is a brand that was actually founded on principles of quality and consistency. So back in 1870, George Garvin Brown set out on a mission to change the landscape of whiskey by sealing his product in a glass bottle and selling it exclusively that way to ensure no one had tampered with it. And we still hold true to that today. With Old Forester, quality is our number one priority. Our whiskey goes through so many different quality checks 
We go through quality checks with our grain, with our distillate. We do checks on those barrels as they're aging in our heat cycled warehouses. And then of course, we are always making sure that before it goes into a bottle, it matches batches that came before it. Old Forester is committed to always, always, always having the best product on the market. Brown Foreman may have been the first to label, bottle, and seal its bourbon, but that wasn't the only first in Brown Foreman's history. Innovation is a popular word in the American whiskey category today, but it's been a part of Brown Foreman throughout our 150 year history. It started with our founder, George Garvin Brown, who created Old Forester to provide a consistent quality whiskey to his consumers. To do that, he had to be one of the first in our industry to batch whiskey together, because as we know today, every barrel has its unique characteristic. So to create consistency, he batched barrels of whiskey together from the different distilleries he was purchasing whiskey from to ensure that his consumer got that consistent quality. And he guaranteed it by sealing it in that bottle, the first bottled bourbon in America, still on the market today. But it just didn't start with batching and bottling. We came up with new and innovative products through many different parts of our history. In 1910, a fire at our distillery on, on bottling plant on Main Street here on Whiskey Row required us to rebarrel whiskey and put it back in new barrels while repairs were made to the bottling plant. When that whiskey came out, it had that unique, what we now know today as a double barrel character. We were the first to offer a single barrel uh, in the 1960s. Our president's choice was personally selected by our president of the corporation, George Garvin Brown II, because as he was tasting whiskey for the bottling process, he would set aside unique barrels that he found had outstanding character. It was also in that line, the first single barrel barrel proof that we're aware of in our industry, because if you bought the whole barrel, George Garvin Brown would bottle it at exactly the proof he tasted it as it came out of the barrel. We've also been an innovator in packaging. In the 1950s, we offered our decanter series designed by the famous industrial designer, Raymond Lowy. In 1938, we offered the very first personalized package uh, for our old Forester as a gift, as part of our holiday line. And we continue to innovate today. It's clear that Old Forester has firmly stood at the pinnacle of quality bourbon for years, bridging a gap between the traditional and the innovative. Part of my job as master taster involves new product development and at Old Forester we are constantly coming up with new ways to innovate and give you different sides of the Old Forester spectrum. Now we're not trying to reinvent the wheel because we have it down. We are making quality and consistent whiskey always. We don't need to try any sort of fancy ploys to appeal to trends, but we do understand that everybody's palate is a little bit different and we want to make sure we deliver a different Old Forester for everyone so that everyone can find one they enjoy. Enjoy. So by owning the entire process from the barrel to the distilleries, all of that, we're able to pull different levers to really bring out different flavor profiles that might speak to you personally. Travel 60 miles east of Louisville and you'll find yourself in Woodford County, home of one of Brown Foreman's fastest growing brands, Woodford Reserve. At a time in Spirit's history when vodka reigned supreme, Brown Foreman's forward-thinking leadership invested in rebuilding one of Kentucky's oldest and most historic distilleries. Hello, I'm Chris Morris. I'm the Master Distiller at Woodford Reserve. And as Master Distiller, I am responsible for the quality and the innovation coming out of the Woodford Reserve Distillery. Brown Foreman Chairman and CEO, the late Owsley Brown I, issued a challenge to the company that we would introduce a new Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. A bourbon whiskey that would have its own distillery and a distillery that would be open for tours. You might think, well, what's the big deal? Bourbon is popular today. It seems like a new distillery is being opened somewhere every day. And if you can come to Kentucky, the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, Kentucky Bourbonism as it's called, is a number one tourist attraction for the state. But that wasn't the way it was then. The bourbon industry, as I mentioned, had been in a long decline. Famous distilleries had just closed, and Kentucky Bourbon Trail, forget it. So Owsley's challenge, his idea, was quite revolutionary. Let's just call that innovation, doing something different. So we purchased the long abandoned, historic LeBrow and Graham Distillery in Woodford County, eventually renamed it Woodford Reserve, created a new bourbon whiskey, and reconfigured this old distillery for tourism. 
it was a game changer. It revitalized the industry. Since the launch of Woodford Reserve, we've seen over 400 Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey brands introduced to the market. So it all comes down to Owsley's vision of creating a new bourbon, Woodford Reserve. While Brown Foreman's Old Forester brand was a trailblazer of old, it was the founding of Woodford Reserve that placed Brown Foreman at the forefront of the modern whiskey craze. Today, Woodford Reserve has become the go-to bourbon for enthusiasts, connoisseurs, restaurateurs, and bartenders alike. And it enjoys a prominent place on the back bar of some of the world's most important cocktail and fine dining destinations. But that's not merely by chance. There was a focus for the first time on creating a whiskey based on flavor. Where does flavor come from? It comes from the same five sources. What's the water's impact? What is the grain recipe? How does fermentation, distillation, and the maturation processes build and deliver flavor? We knew this new bourbon had to be different. It had to have flavors that were attractive, not only to bourbon drinkers, but to drinkers of other spirits. We wanted to capture as many tongues, palates, and noses as possible. And that came back to making each of the five sources of flavor have a discernible impact on the final product. That meant doing common processes uncommon. Hi, I'm Elizabeth McCall, the Assistant Master Distiller for Woodford Reserve. My main role is to ensure the quality of our beautiful spirit, Woodford Reserve Bourbon. Here at Woodford Reserve, we do something I like to call couture barreling. That means that every barrel is made to match the brand. Our whiskey matures in these couture barrels for five to seven years, but honestly, it's all about flavor and how it tastes at the end of the day. While Woodford Reserve has become an instant classic in the Brown Foreman portfolio, we have to travel some 300 miles south to the town of Lynchburg, Tennessee, to experience the brand that has truly defined American whiskey to consumers around the world, Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey. The Jack Daniels Distillery was founded in 1866 by Jasper Newton Daniel, or Jack Daniel himself. With the help of trusted friends, advisors, and first head whiskey maker near a screen, Jack began producing whiskey with this simple yet exacting commitment to high standards. George Garvin Brown's commitment to quality on the Old Forester label guided Brown Foreman for decades. When we acquired Jack Daniels in 1956, the Motlows could have sold their whiskey to many different companies with much higher bids. But they chose Brown Foreman because we shared a similar commitment. Like our old Forester guarantee, they had a commitment to quality that their family had stuck to since Uncle Jack created the brand many years before. And you can still see their commitment today. As you walk into the office on the wall is a plaque that says, every day we make it, we'll make it the best that we can. Now, it wasn't just Jack's quality product that made it a natural fit for Brown Foreman. It was how easily the people who produced the whiskey blended with the Brown Foreman family. Hi, I'm Chris Fletcher, the master distiller at the Jack Daniel Distillery here in Lynchburg, Tennessee. A lot of people ask me, how do you get to be a master distiller, and especially here at a distillery like Jack Daniels? Uh, and I tell them it's a lot of luck uh, and, and maybe a little bit of skill. Um, but I grew up here in Lynchburg, born and raised. My parents' house is only three miles from the distillery here. So, you know, I kind of grew up in and around the distillery. And actually, my grandfather was our master distiller. Um, so it's a very special thing for me to be the distiller here at Jack Daniels. Um, you know, the greatest advantage of what we do here at Jack Daniels, really it's our whiskey making team. It's the people, it's the families here in Lynchburg um, that make our whiskey what it is. Lynchburg is in the second smallest county in the state of Tennessee. Um, so we don't have a lot of things, there's not a lot going on. We only have one stoplight in our whole county. Um, there's no shopping malls or super centers or anything like that. But we're really good at doing one thing. And just as families often uphold certain traditions over generations, Jack Daniels has remained steadfast to the practices that make each bottle of Old Number 7, Gentleman Jack, and beyond beacons of consistency and flavor. 
As Old Forester is woven into the history of Kentucky, Jack Daniels is woven into the whiskey history of Tennessee. Okay, a lot of people ask me, uh, how is Tennessee whiskey different from bourbon? Obviously, to be Tennessee whiskey, you do have to produce and age the whiskey within the state of Tennessee. And then secondly, Tennessee whiskey must be filtered through a bed of hard maple charcoal. Uh, it does have to be maple charcoal. And this process has been done for probably hundreds of years. Some distillers may choose to only use one small piece of charcoal. We actually choose to use a very densely packed 10 feet vat of charcoal to where the whiskey will slowly work its way through. And it'll take a couple of days for the whiskey to work its way through this charcoal. So while this process does not add anything to the whiskey, it does remove a lot of the corn and oily notes that it gets from the fermentation and distillation process. So by the softening or mellowing of the spirit prior to the barrel, this is one of the things that makes Jack Daniels so smooth and so soft on the finish. And really, I think of it as an early form of quality control. Um, it's how a young Jack Daniel, when he was taken under uh, the wing of Mr. Nearest Green, was taught how to make whiskey. Uh, and it's, a, it's an old fashioned and a, an extra step that we actually invest quite a bit of time and money into. Our brands have been the most recognizable names in all of American whiskey for well over a century. We've led the way in innovation while staying true to each brand's heritage, craft, and unique character. And while American whiskey isn't something we invented, it certainly didn't get to be where it is today without us. Today when consumers walk into the American whiskey aisle and look at those shelves and shelves of products, often the first thing they turn to is the bottle, to read the label. But as many of us know, what's on the label of a bottle of whiskey is not always the truth. Very often it's just purely marketing. But at Brown Foreman, when you pick up a bottle of Old Forester and you read the guarantee written by our founder, George Garvin Brown, nearly 150 years ago, you know that that is both a mantra for how Brown Foreman commits themselves to the whiskey within that bottle and a personal commitment from the Brown family who has guarded that guarantee for over 150 years through six generations of Brown family members. I think one of the interesting things about uh, the American whiskey category is that typically anytime you're talking about a brand, inevitably you're, you're going to mention a, a family uh, or a family story and, and I think that's the u uniqueness of Brown Foreman is that our family's still very much involved in the business and so it becomes the individual's responsibility to make sure that that is being delivered every day. It's making sure that the marketing plans are of premium quality, that the products supporting the product are excellent, that the people are trained as well as they pof possibly can be. It means that when we look at innovation, we do it in a way that does not allow for or provide for the cutting of corners. Whether responsibly enjoying your spirit neat, on the rocks, or in your favorite cocktail, we at Brown Foreman truly believe there is nothing better in the market. Throughout our over 150 years of whiskey making tradition, we've set the bar for premium whiskey and continued to push the boundaries of what it means to make delicious, quality spirits. This truly is whiskey worth knowing.